Orin's behind me, isn't he? Mm -hmm. Yep. Okay. Okay, so just keep your eyes on me. Okay. Don't panic because you can smell fear. What do just I keep talking to me? Hi. Hi. How are you? Good, how are you? How's the way? Run! <laughs> Till beard was part, we review all things craft beer on this channel. So, if you're new, consider subscribing and ring that bell. Ring a ding ding! Today we have Oren from Half Acre, and they will be at Fobab, which is today and tomorrow. I guess that is true. And we will be there tomorrow for the day session. So, if you are also there, come say hi. So this is a bourbon barrel aged strong ale. Yes. And I would not be surprised at all to see this tomorrow, I guess Saturday, on the tap tomorrow. list. Tomorrow. Oh, it's either way, I would not be surprised to see this on the tap list at Fobab. Yes. Because strong ale is one of those categories. And we're drinking out of our handy dandy Fobab glasses from last year, so you can get a feel of how small and tiny and insignificant these things actually are. But at the same time, I mean, at other events, it kind of sucks, but when you're drinking all these barrel-aged beers, this beer comes in at 13.9%, um, and some of them are higher than that. And this is kind of expensive. Do you really want like a full pour of all these beers that you're sampling at Fobab? I mean, there's gonna be a lot of breweries there. Oh, there's a dog here. Gussie, go away. I'm not sure if I remember even getting pours quite this full while we were at Fobab last oh, year. No, you poured generously. I um, think they're usually about half the size. This is a nice chocolatey brown color. Not a lot of head, khaki yeah. in color It's such a strong ale, it kind of just looks like a nice brown ale. Really. Yeah, it really does. Although I can smell it, I don't even have it, like I have it just lightly under my nose. It looks very walnut-like. Nutty. <laughs> Sniff. Bourbon. <laughs> surprise, surprise, it smells like a barrel thing. Wood. <laughs> oh, I don't know if I'm gonna like this, you guys. There's a little bit of cinnamon to it. Yeah, it's kind of, yeah, it's got like a spicy, spiciness with the bourbon. Very wintry. This beer will definitely keep you warm. Just from the smell, I can tell that. All right. But let's drink it. Prost! Prost. It's just very intense. Like camping. It's actually kind of nice because it's not too cold. No, you, I got Usually, it like a beer like this, you don't want it to warm up, but we got it at the poific temperature. Why do we keep doing this in this video? This is very intense. Like, there's a lot going on here. Mostly bourbon, but also other things. It just hits you right in the feels, in the face, in the yeah. balls. I'd say, for sure, bourbon, overwhelmingly most powerful flavor. I do get a little bit of that cinnamon. Kind of woody, barky. Um, Definitely got a lot of barrel character. Yeah, charred. Some coffee. I get a lot of sweetness, probably from the bourbon. It's pretty sweet. Boozy as fuck. Boozy wow. as fuck. But I think this is the appropriate glass for it. You know, and I'm about halfway through it and you know, I think, I could actually have a little bit more of this. This is a sipping beer. So it's nice to have the smaller glassware because you're not just gonna pound it. This is just an elegant sipping beer. I do declare, good sir. Back in my day, Half Acre only made Daisy Cutter. True. And now they do all this other weird stuff. No, I'm just kidding. This isn't weird. Half Acre's good. They'll be at Fobab. Moving right along. Uh, mouthfeel! Mm, I'm gonna go medium. No, wait, hold on. Hold on. Yeah. No, I'm gonna go medium plus. Yeah, I'm gonna go medium plus as well. There's a little bit like of like hefty cloud, yeah. uh, like a hefty cloud. Like what the band name like, called it. I think it's kind of- But not milky. It's like a way watered down molasses. Like syrup. Sure. But light syrup. Okay, light syrup. Light syrup. And then the finish. The finish, booze. I mean, you really feel the burn in the chesticles. Hmm. Kind of just charred, that's it. I, I think it's real booze. Is, of course it's boozy. I, everything, every description we've had so far at every stage has been boozy. It's been boozy and boozy, and boozy and, and boozy, boozy and boozy. And now charred. It, it, I mean, for 13.9%, I mean, come on. Once you get to a certain point, you can't really hide it anymore. Raytons! I don't have anything clever to say. Raytons! Because it's a strong ale, I think I might go gold with this. Ooh. It's very, very tasty. Strong ale does not get a lot of love, and I think it's well executed. My one beef being like, I think you would actually get more enjoyment out of it if they had brewed it intentionally as like slightly lower ABV. But 
overall, very, very tasty. Good flavors. Vanilla. I'm going to give it a silver. I appreciate them doing something different, like Dan said with the strong ale. They don't get a lot of love. But it's a little too bourbon boozy for my taste. So it's just going to get, like, I, I enjoyed the experience. I don't think I need it again. All right, guys, that was our review of Orin by Half Acre. We hope we see you all at Fobab this weekend. If you see us there, come say hi, but don't. All right, for Lager River Porter and Bottles Are On Draft, we are your favorite couple for all things... Barrel-aged. Fobab? No, for all things barrel-aged. Okay, fine. Different strokes for different folks, as they say. Yeah, it's dirty. Is it? Different strokes for different folks. Sure. Everything I'll explain said. it to you later. Okay.